what's going on beautiful people it is i your sister from another mr thick chick vlogs um i am here you guys i have some hot tea off the motherfucker press in case y'all did not know let me give y'all a little bit of a rundown of what the hell is popping off girl so on last night on thursday night um christina million had a hosting that she was um doing at the playhouse don't know what a playhouse is, girl. It really don't even motherfucking matter, okay? But you guys know that Karuchi Tran <laughs> and Christina Milian are BFFs. You know what I'm saying? They're BFFs. So, of course, Karuchi was going to go and support her BFF at the the this little get-together situation that she was hosting. Now, Chris Brown apparently knew that Karuchi Tran was going to be going to the playhouse to support her BFF. So, he decided to show his punk ass up at the playhouse, Okay. He pulls up in a brand new Lambo. Okay, of course, at that particular point in time when he first got there, Karuchi Tran was not in the building. But after Chris Brown came and he, you know, went inside or whatever, I guess he waited around. I guess he probably was poking around and shit, acting, acting like he wanted to, you know, be there to just support whatever the hell was going on. But we all know that he was there because he knows that Christina Milian and, and Karuchi Tran are BFFs. So, Karuchi then shows up on the scene. I don't know how long Karuchi ended up staying in the venue, but I, I know that she ended up leaving with her friend. She was there in an SUV. Not sure what type of SUV it was. I think it was a, a Explorer or Expedition or something like that. Or a Tahoe. It, it, that, that's really irrelevant at this particular point in time. But, as I said, remember I told you guys that Chris came in a Lambo. So, Karuchi and her friends proceeded to walk outside of the playhouse to leave the club or whatever it is. And Chris Brown decides that he is going to bombard his way into the SUV where um, Chris, uh, where, where Karuchi Tran and her friends were. Now, uh, Karuchi's friends were like, you know, this is our car. We don't, we don't want you in here. So, Chris proceeds to basically force his way into the truck and tells her friend to get in the back move to the back and he squeezes on the seat with Karuchi Tran okay now you can see of course paparazzi are following these people around like it ain't nobody's business they just waiting for the next juicy story to pop off so you can see like little little snaps and pictures and things of them as they're in the SUV and you can see the looks on Karuchi Tran's friend's face they're like you know we don't want you in here and people were like you know if Karuchi didn't really want him there then she could have easily got out of the truck and you know told him to leave or call the cops or whatever but that didn't happen of course and people are saying she probably wanted him there that's not necessarily the case so let me explain why I say that's not necessarily the case um, she probably didn't want to cause a scene. She saw the paparazzi there. She knew this was her BFF's night. She was hosting a show. She probably didn't want to start any trouble. Now, you can clearly hear Chris ask her, um, is this your car? And her friends are like, we don't, don't, don't get in here. We don't want you to get in here. And he forces his way inside and sits on the seat with her. Now, of course, we all know how possessive that Chris Brown is, okay? He's obviously very, very possessive. Anybody who sits there and gets on social media and goes off on a man for simply taking a selfie with your ex-girlfriend. Yes, Chris Brown, she is your ex-girlfriend. And let me explain, um, why she said she is her ex-girlfriend. Now, of course, I don't know what, where her mindset is but i'm telling you i can tell by looking at these videos and these photos that something is not right in the water okay she seems like she's a little bit afraid of him and i would be too anytime you got a man who's basically any guy that you um are taking just a simple picture with he is threatening bodily harm to those people yeah i would be afraid of them he has some serious issues. So, of course, like I said, he forced his way into the truck and he left his Lamborghini behind. So, let's flash, flash forward to this morning. Um, police cars were outside of Karuchi's house early this morning, okay? Right around the time that, you know, the sources, TMZ, and all of these paparazzi people, because we all know the, the TMZ got paparazzi people all over the place. Um, they, they said that Chris Brown was there, okay? So, um, a photo agency shot a video of the patrol car. So, you can't see any of the officers going in or, in or out of the house. So, it's unclear at this point if the cops spoke directly to Karuchi or Chris. 
but you can clearly tell that there was some type of activity going on around that vicinity of okay? okay so um they say that Karuchi's neighbors called the cops because of the noise Chris was making at her door so apparently that night uh, uh, I guess because Karuchi didn't want to make a big scene um so she just probably told whoever was driving just take me home you know what i'm saying just take me home and however he gets back to his lambo then that's how he gets back to his lambo so i guess when she got there she went inside like dude okay i don't want you leave me alone and i guess he was probably there all night making all kind of noise hooping and hollering i want you back you gonna get me back i'm gonna give you some money you know people who have money i'm thinking not of course not everyone but sometimes you, when you have people who have money and they feel like they have done so much for you, they, they become overly possessive. And I really think that had a lot to do with what Chris Brown, um, you know, the whole situation with him and Karuchi. Of course, he said he loved her and she seems like a good girl, but she, she, you know, she was stupid for him, you know, a couple of times over. But she said she's completely done with him now that he now has this baby so let me go ahead and read you a little bit of what tmz said okay it says chris brown's attempted reunion with karuchi tran last night did not end well with the singer banging on karuchi tran's front door after she kicked him out of her suv we're told the drama started inside playhouse nightclub when chris got the vip table next to the one that karuchi was at we're told Karuchi was pissed and left the club and brown followed eventually weaseling his way into her suv our sources connected with Karuchi um, say that she did not want him inside and dropped him off with his friends a short time later, which is why she was even more upset when he showed up at her doorstep around 3.30 a.m., banging and yelling, clearly trying to get um, Karuchi to open up. Karuchi ultimately left her home and went to the famous Norm's Diner. Brown showed up a short time later. Once inside, we're told they began to argue and it escalated into a full-blown shouting match. Eventually, Karuchi left the res restaurant and returned home without Chris. Bottom line, don't expect a reconciliation anytime soon. Chris Brown is a overly possessive, you know what, he is acting like a deranged psychopath and she needs to be afraid of him i would get me a restraining order if she is serious about you know being completely done with him she needs to get a restraining order against him because he seems to be one of those types of people that um if i can't have you can't nobody have you so um let's just say a prayer for karucha tran and hopes that she goes to the police or somebody because this fool chris brown is cray cray and i'm i'm i'm, I'm intrigued to see what he's going to say about this whole situation um, and upcoming tweets and Instagram messages because y'all know how he loves to get on Instagram and Twitter and go on these rants and then delete it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, y'all leave y'all comments in the comment section below about what you think about this story and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.